hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you a new functionality i implemented in mesh morpher which is recompute normals and uh, this functionality attempts to recompute uh, normals for selected meshes as a whole and then uh, copy the uh, computed normals to uh, the selected meshes right so let's see how this works and uh, yeah uh, first of all, we will uh, create uh, a new morph target from uh, uh, FBX or OBJ files, in our case uh, OBJ files. And we will use a uh, uh, welded uh, exported OBJ mesh from uh, Mesh Morpher, right? So uh, this uh, mesh was uh, modified in ZBrush and this one was exported from uh, Mesh Morpher, right? So we will create first the morph target we will disable smoothing because we don't want to smooth on the edges and we will press ok okay now uh, we open the body and uh, we do the same thing We select uh, the same files, uh, Sicario for welded and uh, welded morphed, right? Exactly the same files. Disable the smoothing, uh, we, we don't want to smooth uh, the edges, right? And press OK. And now that uh, we uh, created the morph targets on uh, on the uh, metahuman meshes, we want to bake them in this particular case. I don't really like uh, uh, to bake um, uh, morph targets on metahumans because they are made of two meshes and it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's difficult to, to match everything, but uh, uh, let's try it, right? So first we will bake the head we enable uh, the morph target we just created to the maximum, right? And press bake. So the baking for uh, the head is uh, almost completed. Uh, everything is rebuilding uh, and uh, initialized back. And now we have to do uh, the same for the body. We enable at maximum the morph target and click bake. Okay, and uh, now we can uh, check it out, right? So uh, we're gonna open uh, the Sicario MetaHuman. And let's see what we got here. So this is what we're trying to solve, this uh, seam between uh, head and body. And uh, let's see the back of uh, uh, the mesh, right? You can see the, the seam is kind of uh, visible, right? We want to solve that uh, as much as possible. Uh, uh, it's difficult because they are completely two different meshes, so uh, we have to, to be careful with it, right? So we're going to uh, Mesh Morpher. We select uh, Recompute Normals, uh, add uh, two meshes here and select the Sicario metahuman meshes first the face and then the body we press ok uh, these values are the welding uh, uh, configuration because we weld these two meshes right and we transfer the normals to uh, back to their to back to the meshes right we weld we compute and then transfer back this is how it works so we already can see that uh, uh, the normals have been fixed in, uh, in most areas. I mean, we don't have uh, any visible uh, seam, any aggressive uh, visible seam. Most of the most of the problems are gone. There are some uh, uh, artifacts you can see, but I think you, you can uh, fix those. Uh, with uh, textures, UVs, or stuff like that, you know, I, I don't think it's related to normals. 
so this is it for this video i th i hope uh, you find it uh, useful this functionality is still e experimental i'm uh, trying to to see how uh, how we can improve uh, our workflows uh, as much as possible only by using mesh morpher and try to find solution for uh, every every issue that uh, comes our way and uh, i think uh, this uh, this solves uh, at least to some degree uh, our uh, problem with the uh, uh, difference uh, between uh, uh, face and body right so this is it for this uh, video guys i hope you find uh, this uh, functionality useful uh, don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, see you around bye